Hey, Mavericks here. We can all agree that Yoru is the most versatile agent. And that makes him being able to work with a lot of different play styles. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can use Yoru Kit to your advantage. Let's go! First, let's go through all play styles Yoru can use, and then we'll do more specific per side tricks. Guys, actually, Yoru is the duelist. Look, it's wrote in here. So go and decide. Yeah, if you are the only duelist in your team, you need to be making space and drawing attention or yourself when entering side. On defense, you can try to get some entries with flash picks. On attack, take space with your flash tippies. We'll get more in depth later. So, Yoru has two tippies that last 40 seconds each which you can also delay by knowing timings on maps. Sometimes Yoru is the best anchor in the game. You can push some area early and just stay there having TP to get out anytime. This will give your team extremely good info they can use to do some crazy 3-4 man setups to surprise enemy. There is a lot of potential for Yoru to be an insane support player. Both flash mechanics and being able to instantly TP between sides make him best doing quick rotates and set up teammates with flashes. I think his playstyle with Yoru deserves to be played more, but of course we all have egos and would rather play for yourself. My favorite kind of playstyle is when you mix being an entry and initiator. Yoru ability synergy allows him to support both himself and teammates by throwing flashes for his TP, so you don't really need any help. Also, by delaying your flash, throwing it from far or high, you can do some crazy baits into flash with your TP sound. I'm pretty sure this agent meant to be more like a lurking player, they can always give up that idea mid-round or get some impact and instantly rejoin team with your TP. And yeah, your is really good on lurking flanks, you can use TP to cross anti-lurk abilities or just hold space and rotate angles giving a lot of info, catching someone on rotates and insta-tipping to your team. Obviously, you'll be the best Yoru if you'll be able of mixing up all playstyles in right timings and situations. If you know when and why you need to switch playstyle, like going lurking after opening sight or doing a solo anchor round, when flashing for a teammate instead of saving it for yourself. Also, what worth noting is timing when you do plays. For example, if you can do a contact push while your TP is traveling into sight and then popping out with flash TP and team util works the best for Yoru. Because otherwise in fast push Yoru TP can't really keep up. Also, you can change timing when you do a play on defense. Pick or push insta, pick just before like a SOA drone can spot you, do a play in the middle of exec. If done right, all of this can catch people off guard, holding you till, pre-aimed on other spots, doing a lineup. If you start first few rounds playing aggressive, doing some crazy stuff, abusing aggressive off angles and tipping out, enemy will try to adapt and play slower, start clearing corners with you till and waste a lot of time, and after you just switch and start playing slower. This works really good with bind teleporters and clones. Okay, and now let's get more specific. When you dump all of util, TP right in enemy faces as soon as barrier drops or on some good timing for you. Mostly you just full commit to a play fighting space with like a double flash setup or a flash TP in spot that favors you with your flash to get kills first. You should do it on bonus rounds or when holding just doesn't work. This playstyle means that you never full commit with plays and play just to get one and insta dip out with your TP. Usually you just do a flash pick or pre fire with enough amount of bullets that can kill a guy. Or you play an off angle and when enemy comes into your crosshair you do one two shots and strafe TP out. Try it when you can abuse a flash see a gap in enemy util and can counter it, or they don't use util to clear angles. There are a lot of spots you can push up as Yoru and just hold space having your TP back in safe place. You have 40 seconds per TP and can delay first TP, 
plus make pauses in between them. Having this kind of info plus like Cypher came on other side can make a lot of space and info for your team to do some quick rotations and stack holds. You do this when you want to play one side purely on info and do some stack plays on other. Often, enemies will only fight or take space early in round or just fully ignore some space. If you can read how enemy work around map, find these weak spots and take them giving you less time on flank or even insta flank would make retakes way easier for your team and can win you a lot of rounds. Scout how enemy plays and if they ignore space or do quick fireman takes. On a lot of maps you can sneak a spawn flank TP across the map. Knowing these TPs and when to use them can add to your playbook a lot of surprising plays. Some you can even combine with flashes. If you know enemy will do a certain round or ignore space you can use for your TP lineup. It's really good to know how enemy act in different kind of pushing. And I noticed if enemy focus on taking fast some area or fully rushing side on rounds with like KO fatal, they tend to miss spots you can use to hide a TP. I call this an anti aggro play. Basically, you sneak TP early before they push and then use it to insta retake in the middle of enemy take. It works insanely good when you feel timing when half of the team are already on area they are taking and half are still behind or using util like a drone, geek old, phoenix ult. Pair it with a flash or do a clone boost TP for some insane plays. Use it when they have a fast round or you purposely give them space for free. Most of the rounds you should be either just running in with pop, one way flash, teammate util with a TP behind in case they had a good counter or either taking certain space with a flash TP. You just should do this when you are the only duelist. So when you save the TP and maybe flash on take, use it to do some spawn TP plays or sneaking TP in some spot and then using it on post plant when enemy retakes for crazy backsteps and making insane crossfires. Do it when enemy have slow rotates or you taking sides really fast. Being able to do cross map TPs make Yoru good at faking takes. You can just send TP to other side and fake with like one teammate, smoke, clone, make presence with steps, shooting, spike drop and then TP and join team. And sometimes you can actually entry, get like one and die so it's even more believable. Also you can use ultimate to fake, just spamming flashes, clone, an ult in safe place and just bait them to rotate. I like using half of the ult duration and util faking and then tipping into the middle of other side with TP lineup and using rest there. Try when you notice that enemy insta rotates. With Yoru you can try playing without a flash initiator because on a lot of maps Yoru can have flashes that can flash most common spots on site and basically Yoru becomes both your support flasher and entry. Just like this, you can send TP into side, use both flashes back to back and TP the second one to entry. Go for it when team needs flashes to entry. Oh yeah, Yoru is made to be a lurk agent. If your team is good playing slower playstyle, you can be that sneaky guy that tries to get people who's trying to flank or take weak space. The best thing that Yoru can always scratch that idea mid round and rejoin team with TP. Also, while your team is making aggression on one side of the map, you can use weak space on other side to sneak in a spawn TP, then use it to do some backstep plays. Do it when your team have a slow playstyle. Really strong mix of playstyles is entry to lurk playstyle. You start round leaving TP on a safe spot, entering side and after you got it, you TP back. And go into lurking mode trying to backstep enemy on retake. Knowing how and when to mix up these playstyles will make you a very annoying player on the map. Use when enemy mostly not flanking and rotates through their spawn. This is it. A lot of this miss usual videos because it's not looking fun and easy to miss clips. That's why I wanted to make a separate video about playstyles. Hope you'll understand it and find some useful info for you. Now help me get 10k subs till the end of this year and 5k likes on this vid or I switch to ESO. Go, go, go. Thanks for watching. Peace.